All right, we're ready to test the farm. So let's go ahead and click the button. And as you can see, it's gonna auto crop all these seeds and wheat for you into there. Once it's done cropping, we click the button again. The water will turn off. And once we go down in this chest, we can see we are starting to collect all the wheat and the seeds into the chest. What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quitty Bags and today my dudes we are back making the most simple easiest wheat, carrot, potato or beetroot farm in Minecraft Job Edition. So let's get started dudes. Inside this chest is all the supplies you're going to require. Like I said you can use seeds for wheat, you can use carrots, beetroots or potatoes. Now on this side here you're gonna need actually eight water buckets but these two water buckets here are gonna be made for making an infant water pool to keep your crops hydrated. All these other supplies will be required. Let's get started. All right, so to get started on this farm, find a pretty open area, and we're gonna just start by placing down a double chest like that. Next thing, grab your hopper, make your way to the back side of the first chest you place, crouch down. Now this can be done on keyboard by shifting, and hold that crouch and right click and place your hopper down, just like that. And to verify, make sure that tube is going into the actual chest. That way your items will be collected. Next thing, we're gonna go ahead and grab our planks out. I'm gonna place two planks right here, just like that. Next thing we're gonna do, grab your block of choice again and go eight backwards. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our glass of choice. We're gonna place one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. That way there's two blocks at the end, two blocks right here. And then we're gonna grab our block of choice again and we're just gonna fill in back here just like that. All right, our next step is gonna be building the field. We're gonna go ahead and go behind the hopper here, place one block and then place one block on top with the dirt. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go eight across. So we have one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna go eight back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're gonna square it up just a reminder, this is an eight by eight field. And then we square it up and then we fill it in. All right, we're gonna make our next field. We're gonna place one block at the back here and one block up again, break the block underneath. And we are going to do eight across just like this, but we're gonna do seven back this time. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna square it up again. And then now we shall go ahead and just fill it in. All right, next thing, we need to keep this field hydrated. So we need to basically make like a trough that water can sit in beside the field. So that way it keeps the crops hydrated. So we're gonna start by going back from this side here and we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna climb up like this and then just make sure you're one below the dirt here. And we're gonna go all the way back like that because water is gonna basically sit in there. Now we're gonna do it to the same side over here we're gonna do it again. So we're just gonna go ahead and put these here, climb up and go ahead just like that again. So that way both sides are looking like that. All right, so starting from the left side, we're gonna place more blocks down. We're gonna start by doing one, two like that. That way the hopper is covered here and we have an opening here and then we're gonna space off one here and then we're gonna go all the way back just like this. Go up one again and go all the way back just like this. Again, this is just so water can flow in these spots right here, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side here. We can go ahead and put a block here, here, and here, making that L shape. And then let's go all the way back just like this and up one and all the way back again. This is what it looks like. Make sure those walls are lined up with the dirt and it's basically like a little trough for the water to sit down in. And then over here, we can add a block just right there. That way that water doesn't flow into here. All right, so this is what it's looking like so far. Pretty simple to follow along. Now we're gonna go ahead to the back of the farm here and we're just gonna build all the way around just like that. That way the back of the farm has a little backing. And then we're gonna grab our dispensers and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight along the back wall. That way we can put our water buckets into these. All right, so go ahead and put your water buckets in your dispensers now. And there we go. All of our dispensers have a water bucket inside them. 
Next thing we're gonna do is put our water in these troughs here. So what we're gonna do is quickly just build an infant water pool. And if you guys don't know how to do that, all you do is break a two by two. Go ahead and put one bucket of water here, kitty corner, put a bucket of water there. And then now we're gonna grab those buckets of water, put one here, one here, one down here, and one down here. Because we're gonna be having to cut off this water supply. You'll see in a minute. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and cover up all these water paths and we're gonna put a too high wall. That way we don't lose any of our seeds when the water actually comes flowing. We're just gonna do a too high wall all the way down, all the way to our glass right there. And then again on this side, just go too high. Doesn't have to be perfect. You guys can alter it a little bit yourselves, but just make sure it's a too high wall. That way we can keep all the seeds inside, just like that. And then let's put a wall above the actual um, dispensers like that. All right, our next step is we wanna set this up so these water buckets get flushed and they will actually flush water down, destroying the crops and leading the crops into the hopper down here. So let's do that real quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come behind these hoppers and we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Make sure you're crouched while placing or else you'll just open up the dispenser. Now we're just gonna make a little path. That way we can reach this point right here. So nine, 10. And then we're gonna grab redstone and we're gonna go all the way like this. And we're gonna lead all the way to the beginning of the farm. That way we can set up a little button so it can auto crop for us. All right, so we got our redstone all the way to here. What we wanna do is place a button now. So what I'm gonna do is drop the redstone down like that. Put a block here so it's a little V shape. Boom, put your redstone down one and then to the button. Here we go. So now when we click the button, you'll see redstone can only travel so far. Now we have to go ahead and put our redstone repeater down somewhere around here. So let's just pop the repeater down and see if it works. We'll click the button. Okay, there we go. So I was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 pieces of redstone in, or just the second block. Just make sure all these buckets of water actually have dispensed. And as we can see, they are dispensing, so your repeater's in the correct spot. And a repeater basically works as it just takes the signal, duplicates it, and sends it down the path. So long as all these work, and long as all of them come back in, you're good to go, and your farm is just about working. All right, and if we want to make it look a little fancier, we can throw a glass wall here. All right, so our next step, we need to go ahead and hoe, also known as till, the whole crop farm here, and then we can plant our seeds. All right, so our farm is just about ready. And our final touch is we're gonna put a water bucket right in the corner here. That way all the crops and the seeds go down into the chest. All right, we're ready to test the farm. So let's go ahead and click the button. And as you can see, it's gonna auto crop all these seeds and wheat for you into there. Once it's done cropping, we click the button again. The water will turn off. And once we go down in this chest, we can see we are starting to collect all the wheat and the seeds into the chest. It will take a little bit of time. If you walk up, you could probably collect them. And of course, it'll take a little bit of time. Don't worry, all those seeds will slowly be collected. If you want to speed up the accuracy and... And obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time for those seeds to get collected. If you want to speed up the process and you want to, you know, make it a little more costly to build this farm, we can delete this block here, crouch, place another hopper, and that way it'll actually go ahead and grab the original items coming down a little bit faster. But don't worry, all your seeds and everything will make its way into your large chest. All right, my dudes, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I made this same video about two years ago, and I thought I'd make a revised edition. And, you know, just a little update for 1.19. That way we still all know it works. So if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want a special farm built just for you, drop down in the comments, and I will go ahead and build a video for you. All right, my dudes, peace out, and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.